Hello again guys, as you can see I have the OnePlus 2 here with me today. I'm not quite ready to do a full review of this yet, I will be doing that soon. However, for a long time now I've had people asking me to do a what's on my device video. As you might imagine, I go through quite a few devices so you'd think that would change from time to time, but the apps that I use stay pretty much the same. So I thought I would do a what's on my OnePlus 2 video. Now as you may notice down here at the bottom, I don't have a whole lot on my home screens because I am a pretty simple person. I keep things nice and easy. So starting just top to bottom, left to right, let's start over here. This is what they call the shelf on the OnePlus 2. Normally I keep one page with just calendar information on it. Nice and simple. On the main page of my device, I normally keep contacts. I'll keep a quick dial contact for my wife and one for my parents, and that's about it. Haven't been doing that lately, though. And then just starting at the apps that I've got here, very first, Lose It. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you may have seen a video I made back in November 2013. Using this app in conjunction with a lot of exercise and a lot of hard work, I managed to lose about 80 or 85 pounds in 2013. So I've kept that app. Right next to it, I have my Cricut. I am a Cricut user. I've been with Cricut for about a year and a half now. I've got Gas Buddy, just because I like to know how much the gas is where I am and I'm able to report gas prices and enter into giveaways for for gas cards and things like that right here I have my media folder so I've got a couple of YouTube related apps the first one YouTube studio allows me to keep track of what's going on on my YouTube channels YouTube itself allows me to watch YouTube content Spotify and Pandora for music Twitch for watching live streams, Netflix for watching all sorts of videos, and CWTV because there's a couple of CWTV shows that I watch. Under the cameras section, I have all of the connected cameras in the house. So you've got the Ring Video Doorbell, the Canary camera, the Godzilla camera, all the Foss Cam cameras, the Habit Smart Cam, the Xiaomi Yi camera, which I have not really made a video about yet, and frame lapse, just in case I want to do any sort of time lapses and I don't want to use the built-in camera. Then you've got Timely for alarms. I've used the built-in clock, but I just tend to prefer for timely because it can sync across all my devices. Again, really useful because I have a lot of devices. I've got Hangouts so that I can talk to friends and family. Tiny Tiny RSS, which is a great app. When Google Reader went under, Tiny Tiny RSS was my savior. I was able to back up all of my RSS feeds, bring them into a Tiny Tiny RSS server that I have here at my home, and I can connect to it from anywhere in the world. In here, I have all my social media type apps. Of course, Google+, Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram. I don't really post to Snapchat and Instagram terribly often, but I do have them. Just in case you're curious, there is the Snapchat thing. You can add that if you'd like, but I've only used it a few times. And the links to my other profiles can be found down in the description. I've got Slack for communicating with some people from XDA, HipChat, and Link for stuff at work, and Periscope in case I want to live stream something or watch somebody live streaming. I actually used Periscope for probably for the first time recently when I went to the Beach Boys concert. And then to sort of round things out here, we've got the Play Store, we've got Chrome, the camera app, Gmail, and the dialer. Now I do have other apps installed on this phone. I've got Android Wear here because currently I am wearing an Android Wear device. And Tutu, just because I want to be able to benchmark devices. Barcode scanner makes it very easy to, to find out where I can buy things online or just use it in conjunction with other apps. CPU-Z, because you never know what CPU is in your device unless you've got it. Fitbit, because I do still use a Fitbit tracker all the time. Google Keep, ridiculously useful tool. Use that literally every day. Pebble Time, as I mentioned, I am currently wearing an Android Wear device, but I've been using Pebble Time almost exclusively up until I put this on this afternoon. So I'll be doing a review of the Pebble Time sometime very soon. Google rewards, Google Opinion Rewards app. Love that thing. If you're not in the Google Opinion Rewards program and it's available where you are, you may want to check it out. You do some very easy surveys and you're able to get a little bit of money for them. Over here you've got speed test so you can see how fast your connection is. Swift Key Keyboard just because I do kind of prefer that over the stock one. Star Tracker. I've actually used this a couple of times to find out positions of stars and constellations in the sky. And that's actually the grand majority of what I've got installed on my phone. However, there is one more app that I've recently started using and it's called TrueKey by Intel. For someone like me who has to manage a lot of passwords, TrueKey makes it mindlessly, painlessly simple to manage all of those passwords so I don't have to remember all of them. It can keep track of websites and apps and everything that I use, both on my mobile device as well as on my desktop. And in order to get into it, I can either use my face, a password, or a combination, as well as having to use a trusted device. So because I'm on the OnePlus 2, it is a trusted device. If I hit I'm ready, you can see my face on there with the camera. I have to actually get to a certain position before it will let me log in. There you go, it saw my face and it logged me in. But over here on the side, you can see you've got an internal browser you can use with all of your logins, safe notes if you wanna have password protected stuff, a wallet if you wanted to keep track of credit cards with it too, a password generator because you know good and well you don't make secure passwords, and then settings where you can go in and change the settings for your actual true key account. You see right here, I do have the premium subscription. They do have two tiers. They have a free tier where you can keep track of 15 different passwords 
or a premium that allows you to keep track of unlimited passwords. And you can also install it on other devices. You just click this little button, gets a link through your email. I've currently got it on my OnePlus 2 here as well as my desktop and it works seamlessly. And actually, since I've been having some weird issues out of the OnePlus 2, it has been insanely useful. The Lose It app, for example, as you can see, it's got me currently logged out because it just keeps crashing for some reason on this device. But if I hit log in, there you go. It gives me my information, it goes ahead and logs me in, recovers my data and everything, without me having to actually retype the username and password every time it logs me out. And it logs me out several times a day. And it's not a problem with the Lose It app as far as I know, I think it's a problem with the OnePlus 2. And getting back to the TrueKey app, as I said before, I do have the premium subscription right now. For a limited time only, Intel is going to be giving away 12 months of free premium service that allows you to have those unlimited passwords saved. Normally it does cost 20 bucks a year, but there will be a link down in the video description that you can use to get an entire year of this premium service for free. So if you're interested in trying it out, you can definitely do that. You can use the free version, all that you like, or if you find that you're using more than 15 passwords, you can always use that free premium service for one full year. But with that, that's going to be about all for me for today. I just wanted to tell you guys what is on my OnePlus 2 at the moment, what travels with me when I go from device to device, and thanks to Intel for sponsoring this video, for making this video possible, and also for making it seamless and painless to move from device to device because it keeps track of all the login information that I need, keeps it all safe, secure, and encrypted and can generate new passwords for me on the fly. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for all your continued support. Remember, leave a thumbs up down below this video if you like this video. Subscribe to receive more videos when they become available. And I'll see you again next time.